I'm so glad to be here today with Rosina Menengelliger um, and Catherine Mills. So Rosina is a member of our Parent Advisory Committee and, and uh, is working hard to make sure that NAGC is serving the needs of parents uh, and families of gifted children. Kathy Millis is also on staff and gets to coordinate with the, with the PCAB group uh, as well as be a parent liaison and, and respond to questions and, and uh, support parents in their real needs in real time. So thank you for being here today. What we're really ex excited about is this new uh, piece that you see here in front of front of you is specific outreach for parents of English language learners. Can you tell me a little bit about how this brochure came about? Yes, well, first I want to appreciate, extend my appreciation to Kathy because it was through her efforts that this was made possible. And uh, the important thing about this brochure is that it informs our parents about the possibilities of identifying their children with different behaviors, but it also encourages them to um, help them to become uh, successful in whatever uh, they are doing, other activities that they are doing, help to work with parents, and also to invite them to work with the school and encourage the children to look for other opportunities outside of school to develop their talents and their skills. It's really about collaboration and partnership with parents and schools, right? We know that parents are the primary and first educators of our students, but they also have the opportunity to share that responsibility with some of our educators as well. And parents can be very uh, helpful in the schools, whether it is in promoting uh, the languages of their children, but also in extending the opportunity to uh, staff the campus who might be a little bit Spanish. And Now we're really excited to have uh, many copies available at the national office and what folks need to do if you're interested or you have a community and population that would benefit from this brochure, you need to call the NAGC national office and the phone number is 202-785-4268 uh, and ask for Karen Warner Adrian or email us or email me at kmillis at nagc.org, K-M-I-L-L-E. And we'll get you copies. Our goal is to get this distributed in as many um, cities, urban areas, rural areas, whatever's necessary across the United States. And in fact, we collaborated with the Mexican Association of Gifted Children and others in South America and other countries. So the brochure is actually appropriate uh, for gifted individuals in many countries. And we're hoping there will be a broad distribution. Our, our hope is that this gets out free of cost to anyone who wants it. Correct. Um, so we've made it available in electronic copies, as you said, but we're also willing to help these fly off the shelf for district leaders that want to share this resource with parents um, or give it to different parent advocacy groups uh, at the local level as well. So uh, give us a call and we'll make sure that you get a stack of copies for free. I also want to mention it is available as a PDF on the NHC website, and there's a special page um, in Spanish for, that refers, in English actually, that refers to the Spanish brochure. Um, look for that, um, and it's at NHC.org, and you can download it for free and look at PDF. Um, I guess I'd like to make one final comment, and that is, you know, giftedness knows no cultural same amount of uh, children that are gifted and identified in other uh, ethnic backgrounds are the same that are across all culture and socioeconomic um, communities and status. And so it's really important that um, the, our friends in the Hispanic and Latino communities um, really look for these characteristics and traits in their children and that the school, the teachers, look for these traits in the children they teach so they can be served. Everybody deserves to be something more. If I may uh, encourage uh, school districts.
GC is committed to supporting all three of the audiences that we serve. The research community that has been the foundation for a lot of our work as an organization. Uh, the K-12 educators that are working hard in the classroom uh, and with the school system and administrators and parents especially. That we wouldn't have gifted programs, gifted children, gifted teachers if we didn't have parents who are raising gifted kids. So thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thank you.